good morning it's your boy lamar asmr welcome back to the full video on tonight it is friday we're back with another video on tonight i hope you all are doing well you know, i pray to god that he give us all the strength and courage you know to just keep pushing to live through you know to live and fight through another day i know that we all been going through something throughout the past years and we're going, you know, we're going through something right now in this current year just want to let y'all know keep y'all head up god loves you just do the right thing you know stay out of trouble don't be a part of this world be what god wants you to be so what we'll happened with that being said um, we're gonna get right into the video so um be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what I, you know, create on here, and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I, I say subscribe. <sighs> my goodness. Anyways, yeah, be sure to share my video. And I appreciate those. You know, I appreciate you all for those who, you know, liked, uh, commented, and subscribed and shared my videos. It means a lot to me, really, and it, it really does. So. Appreciate y'all. Just want to let you know I appreciate y'all, and you know I, I don't sit there and um, I don't sit there and uh, what we say. What we say. Uh, uh, I don't sit there and take that for granted. I'll say that. So we already made it into the video. Let's, let's get right into the video. So I know y'all here for that here tomorrow. So let's get right into it. So be sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss out. Let's get right to it. Okay. And it seems like you got a lot of negative energy inside you. Yes. You got a lot of negative energy inside you. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna, we're gonna pluck that stuff out. We're gonna pluck some of that stuff out because it's never good to have all that negative energy inside you. It's never good to carry that stuff around. Because that can have an effect on your mentality, on your relationship with your friend, you know, with your friends, your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend. You know, that can have an effect on your job. You know, when you're going to school, it can have an effect on your assignment, your homework your classmates, teachers. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pluck all that negativity out because I want you to be positive. Right, I want you to be positive. I don't want you to sit there and feel like that you're, that you can't, you know, achieve anything in life. So I'm gonna move on with that negative thoughts out of your head are somebody God has made you in his eyesight he made you and you are loved and accepted by him so no matter what the world has to say about you God has to last say so so I need you Stay focused on what you need to do and what you need to accomplish in your life. Life's going to be hard. It's not supposed to be easy. Everyone's not going to be your friend. You don't have people that's going to, uh, you know, stab you in your back. That's a real negative thought right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Negative thought. Stuff, that stuff, that stuff gotta go. We can't have that. I want you to be positive, have self love, love yourself, love who God made you to be, love your skin, your hair, your body, smile. You know, okay, I, don't want you, I want you to stay positive. But when you 
you smile and you stay positive, that can have an effect on other people around you. That can draw people to you. You know, be yourself. Pull all that negative thoughts out of your head. We're gonna get rid of all that. We're gonna get rid of all that, you you know, all that negative thoughts where you, you, you think that you're alone, you, you don't love yourself, you're trying to fit in with the world, trying to get validation from the internet. We're removing that from you right now because you don't need that. You don't, you don't need to do that to be accepted because God has already accepted you. So why are you trying to sit there and waste your time trying to please the world when you can take all and take the time to please God and get close with Him. He knows what's best for you, my friend. And it's best to follow His commandments and what He says. Obedience is better than sacrifice, my friend. I'm going to say that again. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Don't sacrifice. Be obedient to God. Not to man. Be obedient to God. Take this out. Take that off. Take that off. Take that off. Get that off. We got a lot of negative thoughts. But we're going to get it. And we want that. We want that. So don't give up on your goal on what you want to accomplish. Patience is very important. You don't want to rush life either. As with relationships, trying to find the right person, you don't want to rush life either. Let God, let God help you. And let nature take its course. Don't try to be in a rush. Why well, you got plenty of time to think about what you want to do. And you got plenty of time to, you know, figure out who you wanna be with. Who's your ideal type of you know soulmate and person, lover. single right now enjoy it for the time being because one day you might get married and you find you know you find the right person and your life's going to change from that one from that point it's going to change it's going to change a lot of habits that you're doing you know that's going to change that's going to change and a lot of stuff is going to change you know, when you find the right person. Not in a bad way, though. Not in a bad way. But in a good way. When you find the right person, okay? When you find the right person. Yeah. And making sure, like I said, making sure that you are hanging out with the right people, too. Make sure you're hanging out with the right people. You don't want to be hanging out with this anyone out here in the world. You know what I'm saying, my friend? Yeah. Make sure you're hanging out with the right people. Because if you hang out with the wrong people, they can make you do something that you, you don't want to do and you're not used to doing. So be on the lookout for that. And remember, you don't have to please the world. You don't have to 
fit in and be accepted with the world. God has already accepted you. And he made you his child. You are his child. You are his child, my friend. We are all his children. And he wants us to obey him. Follow his commandments and his laws. And grow up a closer relationship with him. No worries, no worries. I'm glad I'm able to, you know, give this words of encouragement to you so that you'll be able to encourage others who need it, you know. That's the type of person that I am. Before you go to bed, make sure you, you know have a little chat with God. Have a little chat with God, and uh, just talk with Him about you know things that's going on in your life, things that you know would take took place in your life, and you know, you know let God know how thank you, I know how, how grateful you are to Him, how thankful. That you are doing. Because anything that can, anything could have happened. Anything could have happened, you know, took place on your life, on your family's life. And I know that some of us might have, you know, some of us have lost loved ones along the way. You know, lost loved ones in the past years and stuff. And, or recently. And recently, you know. And I just want to let you know that you're not alone. You know, we're all going through something. And I just want to let you know, like I said, that God loves you. Don't ever feel like you're alone because you're not. God is God is right there beside you. He's just wanting, you know, he's just waiting for you to open up to him and talk to him and grow, you know, a close relationship. You know, it's okay. It's, you know, it's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. You don't have to act tough. You don't have to act tough. It's okay to cry. God looks at it, you know, God. God understands. God understands. You know, you like I said, when you come down to talking to God, my friend, you know, you gotta be serious. Because God is serious. God is a man of war. So, you also have to be careful. You have to be on the lookout for Satan as well. Because he's out there in the world messing up everything. And we, you know, you have to be on the lookout. We all have to be on the lookout for danger out there in the world. Watch, watch whales pray. So be observant. So what I mean is be observant of your, your, your surroundings. And, you know, make sure you're praying daily. You know, praying daily. Just, just stand, you know, prepare for anything. Physically and spiritually. Can things take place in your life that can happen physically in the world? spiritually on the other side so yeah stay encouraged be observant be vigilant and keep your circle small and everybody's your friend and you don't have to try to please the world Able to help you, you know. Um, like I said, 
Yo, you can call me anytime, talk to me anytime about stuff that's going on in your life. We can talk, we can meet up somewhere, you know what I'm saying? And I just want to let you know that God loves you. And, you know, you're, you're not alone in what you're going through. You know? So, I just want to let you know. next time till next time I'll be seeing you in the next month next week who knows but you got my phone number and I got your phone number so until next time God bless you and have a good night's sleep God bless oh yeah you have a good one.